Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and uh, day two of quarantine. <laughs> my hair, honestly, okay, so I have not been doing shit to my hair recently. It did not look great, and on top of that, my makeup doesn't look fantastic today, but I didn't want to film with a bare face, because I feel like I've already done that a couple of times. So what did I do? I threw a wig on, I threw some lipstick on, and I threw some glitter on. Because <laughs> we all know that's I can save any look, right? right i actually just cut the lace on this and it doesn't look too bad like honestly like that's cute i just since my foundation looks like shit right now it doesn't look the best either but i, I love this wig and i thought the pink would match the pink that i'm wearing so here we are also uh in a surprise to no one i'm bad at math and I don't remember when the last BWOW was. I think it was a few weeks ago now. But that being said, I really don't think there have been a lot of releases. I mean, not a whole lot that I've like really heard about and been excited about. I mean, that could just be because the... How do I say this without getting demonetized? The thing that is everywhere is all that really anyone is talking about. And uh, I just want to let you guys know I am lucky enough that um, I can work remotely. I've been working from home for the past couple of days. I'm filming this on Tuesday night and putting this up Wednesday morning. So I really hope everyone, if you can, you are social distancing. If you're able to work from home, I hope you're doing that. And my heart and my thoughts are with everyone who is immunocompromised or who does, who does not have the luxury of being able to work remotely like I do. I just hope all you guys are being safe out there. So before we jump into the BWOW, I honestly I really don't have any idea what we're going to be looking at. I'll probably just scroll through trend mood and see what we see. I've got a couple of updates. The first, let's talk about what I'm wearing on my eyes today. I picked up the Millennial Pinks palette from Melt Cosmetics and I've already gotten this pretty messy <laughs> So you can see there's a lot of kick up on these darker shades and they it looks like they stain the packaging so i'm gonna try and like deep clean that but i wore uh the darker shades the other night i'm wearing most of the pink shades on my lid today and then i used this pink all over my lid but then it didn't i tried it without a glitter glue it doesn't look great without a glitter glue so i went over it with a, a liquid shadow from a maybelline so far it's it's on the fence for me because I think this black shade is pretty patchy and I want to try it out a few other different ways just to see if it's me or if it's the shade. But I love the color story and it's unique to me and I'm excited. Next, I have a product that a friend sent me, Victoria, who's known on YouTube as Rare Beauty Envy. I was able to pick up both the blushes from the Sailor Moon and ColourPop collection, but she wasn't going to use both of them. So she sent me the From the Moon blush which is this one and i've been wearing it like non-stop since i got it i love it it's adorable <laughs> and i saw that um the whole collection is now available at ulta which it may or may not have already sold out but um i do want to pick up the other blush and then maybe those single shock shadows i don't know not really on the front of my radar but i'm really glad that i was able to get this blush so thank you again victoria and last but not least i actually purchased this from a friend of mine also victoria hello <laughs> she had an older version of this nicole guerrero glow kit from abh she bought it off of i think mercari or parshmark per wow Poshmark or something and she had it and it was still like in near perfect condition and I have a whole bunch of glow kits that I bought years ago and they're still fine I honestly think highlighters last like almost forever <laughs> but I was interested in the glow kit now that it's available again from ABH but with the shit that ABH has been pulling recently I didn't really want to buy directly from them so I thought buying a used one would be a great option and it's here I've used these two shades I haven't tried experimenting with the darker shades yet but I love this bright white shade it's gorgeous so I can't wait to play more with this and I'm glad I was able to buy it used Last update before we jump in, uh, Holo Taco finally released something I've been waiting for, which is the white nail polish. I am so excited. I love white nail polish. This is the closest I have to white right now. It's not really white, but uh, I don't know. I just love a stark white manicure. It looks gorgeous. And since I love their black polish and I love the rest of their polishes, I cannot wait to get that white one. So the entire Unicorn Skin Collection came out. I was able to snag one of the limited edition box sets with every polish. Ugh. I can't wait. I think it's been shipped. Not sure yet. I'm really excited because I love their polishes and I love white polish and yes, can't wait. All right, let's jump straight into trend mood. 
I'm gonna start from the top and work my way back because I honestly don't remember where I left off the last time we did one of these. So Colourpop is coming out with a collab with Mulan, which if I'm not mistaken, the Mulan movie has actually been pushed back along with a bunch of other movies that are supposed to be coming out recently. But this collection is gorgeous. I like that palette. It's a neutral palette. Actually, are those glitters? If those are pressed glitters, I don't like this palette. <laughs> but this is a cute color story. I like the, the pops of red. Um, I love the way that that blush looks. Or is it a highlighter? I think it's a highlighter. But it's so pretty. I love the packaging. Ugh, I just, I don't know if I would, I mean, I don't really need anything because I've got so much stuff. But I would actually look into that palette unless those are pressed glitters. I hope they're not the pressed glitters. Those, I really don't like those. So yeah, maybe on those blush or highlighters, let me see what they actually are. Do, do, do. They're blushes. So they're very neutrally kind of blushes. I like the blush formula from ColourPop. I think it's really nice, but I don't know. So I just placed a ColourPop order and that was our first ColourPop order in like months. So I don't know if I'll place another order just for this, but I gotta say the aesthetics, they have down to a T. I don't understand what is the point of releasing like beauty blenders or real technique sponges just in different colors. They all look gross once you like put foundation on them. I don't know. I just, I am, I just, I don't understand the why you would spend so much more money on a, a sponge when there's like a really great $1 sponge from Shop Miss A that I still use and love. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever buy another sponge for as long as I live. That's, that's just the best. So Fenty is coming out with some more, um, I guess another shade of the body lava and what's called the Diamond Bomb, a jelly powder bouncy formula. I think it's a gorgeous shade. I'm just not a huge fan of jelly highlights or liquid highlights. I know I never use them. I never go outside really. And I think this looks better uh when you actually like show some skin and you've got highlight on your body or on your legs i, I don't do that <laughs> so this isn't for me but uh, i'm sure this would look gorgeous on someone who actually like goes outside i don't know oh is that a bad thing to say because of what's going on but that's the, that's the truth i've gotten so pale because i just don't go anywhere <laughs> all right so melt came out with another palette already which is crazy to me i feel like they just came out with the millennial pinks palette right right so they came out with the rust collection which, are these the same shades that are in their Rust stack? I never got any of the stacks from Melt, but it's it's an okay looking palette. I like the, I'm definitely drawn towards like the red and the yellow. I know I have these shades and I don't need them. But I, I'm just wondering why would they like re-release it? Because they already have the Rust stack. That's still available, right? I don't know why they would kind of redo it. I don't know. I guess their palettes overall have been doing good. Ah, the Hollow Taco was on Trend Mood. So yes, I'm very excited. I got all of these. I cannot wait. I don't know if I would... Who's into this? This is... Okay, so this is from Urban Decay. And these are Moondust Lip Eclipses for $22. A sheer lipstick that goes on smoothly with a hint of color and the most radiant multidimensional glittery finish. So it's like a glitter lip gloss. I'm not into that. And they also have a Moon Dust Liquid Glitter Illuminizer, $29 for a liquid highlight. A lightweight face and body luminizer with hyperfine duochrome glitter. Okay. I think this is probably something they were going to release for like festival season, which is not happening. Uh, just like glittery highlights and whatnot. But yeah, I mean, I'm not the target demographic for this, obviously. But uh, I don't know. I feel like you could find like more comfortable and probably more affordable lip glosses. Yeah. $78. Jesus. So, Sol de Janeiro is finally coming out with like their signature scent in uh, a, a perfume. I would definitely want to get a sample of this before picking it up if I ever were to pick it up because I love the smell. I actually just picked up another mini of the lotion and the lotion itself isn't the best but the smell is awesome. And I just picked up that and I'm thinking about the smell but it's $78 for it's like an actual like expensive perfume. So I don't know. I have to smell it and get a couple of like the tiny little vials and see if it actually like works well on me, but tempting. And they really are like milking that like one scent and product for as far as it'll go. They've got like everything like body wash, shampoo, conditioner, everything. <laughs> okay, so this is adorable. This is from Men uh, Menagerie Cosmetics and this is the Pastel Pup palette pastel pup palette <laughs> uh i honestly don't need this because i've got like 
pastel palettes like the sugar pill one that I haven't reached for as much recently and I think the new color no not the color pop one but I've got pastel palettes but it's gorgeous and I love the whole it, I'm getting some serious like Lisa Frank vibes from this right it's so cute so I've never tried that's a lie I, I've got a face palette from NARS that I love. I think it's the Ablaze face. Nope, that's Smashbox. Whoopsie doodle. <laughs> so I've never tried any face products, I don't think, from NARS other than like the Orgasm Blush, which I just thought was okay. I think I have a mini of it. I've never tried their bronzers or I got a mini of their highlight, but I haven't tried any other highlights. So that'd be kind of interesting to see. I mean, how much is it? We don't know because it's not coming out till like April or May. And then they're coming out with another Orgasm X blush. Like, you can't think of any other names. Just, like, even if you wanted to go that route with, like, the slightly NSFW terms. Like, there's more. <laughs> yeah, they're just, they're beyond milking that for all it's worth. Ooh, so I'm probably not going to be able to get this at all. But MAC is coming out with another collection in collaboration with uh, Selena's Estate, I believe. And oh, just look at that highlight. I really want a nice red lipstick, but this thing sells out in seconds. Like, there's no way I'm going to get my hands on it, the whole collection. But uh, I would love it. Yeah, because it's going to be this highlighter, uh, a lip gloss, and a red lipstick. Hmm. Yeah, I'm probably not going to be able to get it, but it's gorgeous, and I love Selena. Ooh, so I'm like, I really want this one. I think I talked about this before. This is the new pill palette from Sugar Pill. This is the C2. I know I'm only drawn to it because of those that green and that yellow, and if you cover those up, it's a neutral palette. It actually looks a lot like the Millennial Pinks palette if you cover those up. Oh, I don't need it. Oh, I don't need it. It's gorgeous, though, but I've got the shades. Yeah, I don't, I don't need it. So I guess ColourPop came out with a new monochromatic palette, but does this really count? Is it more of a collection? It's a mauve palette. I feel like they've got something already fairly similar to this. I gotta say though, I love the imprint in the blushes. I think that's very, very cute. But like overall that palette, I feel like it's very similar to what they've already done. But of course you're coming out with like a palette a week, so. Ooh, what the fuck is that? Um... <clears throat> Sorry, I just saw this for the first time. Uh, I guess Morphe is coming out with a new collab, but it's filled with like random chunky glitter shades and it looks like a miniature, but not as good version of the James Chaneo palette. I, oh, yikes. Yeah, not only is it Morphe, yikes. The palette looks yikes. So Viseart came out with another of their like little mini palettes and uh, ugh, I gotta say overall, I really don't think Viseart shades are worth it. I bought a few palettes. They're not like Natasha Denona. They're definitely not worth the price tag that they're being sold at. And I can't really recommend them, but if you're interested, if you're curious, I guess the smaller ones are better. Don't buy the bigger ones. I would just say don't buy it at all, but yeah, I gotta say the picture is very pretty, but I just, I know I've worked with the shades and I don't think they're worth it. So Fenty is coming out with some cream products. It looks like they have cream uh contours and bronzers and then blushes i think the blushes look gorgeous but like when do i ever use cream products i think i have one cream contour kit i don't think i would ever use it if anything maybe the blush i would use a cream blush on like a no makeup makeup kind of day i kind of want to look how much are they okay they're 20 bucks that's not bad i might get one of the blushes Ooh, Rose Latte looks pretty. Rose Latte? Ooh. Or Fuego. <gasps> Fuego is an orange blush. I kinda want it. Sorry if you hear, like, running water. I think someone just jumped into the shower. So ABH came out with uh, a mascara. I think before, I mentioned this briefly before, but with all the shit they've been pulling, like, Norvina caught, was caught in a scandal about trying to get influencers to work for free for exposure and all the other shit ABH has been pulling, I'm, I'm not really keen to buy from them. Quite honestly, I'm shocked at how far that brand has fallen in a year. Like, just think, this time last year, what did you think about ABH? It's a lot different now, huh? So, no, I'm not going to be getting this mascara or trying it out. I really wonder, how long is KK Beauty going to be around? KKW Beauty? She seems to be releasing literally, like, the same palette over and over. Which I understand, like, she's got a, a look. 
She has a demographic. But, like, even if you like her and you buy her palettes, there's got to be a point where you you hit <laughs> the mass capacity for how many neutral, bronzy looks you have from the same brand, right? I don't know. I really don't know. I think that... Ooh, what the hell is that? Is that a glass? Lip gloss? So there's this one lip gloss shade. I'll put it up here. That looks gorgeous. I know I don't need it. Especially when they're, what, $20 each? I don't need it, but that looks gorgeous. That's that's a pretty shade. And I don't think I've seen that really around in a lip gloss. So that's a bit unique, but like the palette, she's literally been there, done that. So Dyson, which is, um, what, like a famous tech company, right? They came out with that really expensive $400 hair dryer that apparently all the influencers love. Yeah, maybe in my dreams. They came out with a hair straightener. This is not my hair, obviously, but uh, I am curly down somewhere down here, right? <laughs> and I've not straightened my hair since, well, I've straightened my hair once in the last year and it was for Halloween. So uh, I'm not interested in a straightener, but like kind of still want that Dyson blow dryer because it's got a nice diffuser attachment too. Ugh. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna anytime, there's no way anytime soon I'm gonna be paying $400 for a blow dryer though. It's just not gonna happen. <laughs> That being said, how much is this? $4.99. It's more expensive than the blow dryer. Yikes. Nope. Oh, okay. So these I'm actually really, really curious about. And I might pick up a couple of them. From Stila, they are coming out with what is called the Double Dip Suede Shade and Glitter and Glow. <laughs> I'm sorry. That many ands in your title? Liquid Eyeshadows. The perfect pairing of matte and glitter, magnetized duos, and 12 striking pairings. So you can mix and match to create different looks. So basically you get a matte and you get um, a glitter. And they come, They I guess they magnetize together. And they've got a bunch of different shades. I really want the yellow, the green, the white, and the black. Those are the shades that I want. It, I mean, they look really pretty in the swatches, and I've had a bunch of them. I mean, a bunch of the glitter and glows, anyway. And I think that would be such an easy, like, two-shade look, right? You can just throw in the matte, blend it out in your crease, throw the glitter on, and you're good. So I, I really want to try this. I am very curious. So Tarte just came out with, um, I guess this new Powered by Maracuja? I can't pronounce shit. Collection where there's a tinted hydrator for $29, which is like a BB cream. There's a setting spray. There's a glossy lip oil. I don't know about the lip oil, but I haven't tried anything from Tarte in a long time. And I was actually thinking of placing kind of a rather large-ish Tarte order and trying a whole bunch of stuff. And I was looking at that, I guess, BB cream kind of thing. I don't know. I mean, I love the packaging. It actually looks a lot like the Florence by Mills packaging, doesn't it? <laughs> But uh, I'm interested in that kind of BB cream. So I'll, I'll briefly mention this. So ColourPop came out with a whole box, I guess, of sponges. And again, they're still more expensive. I think they're about the same price as the, um, what are they called? The orange sponge. I said it earlier in this video. What is it? Uh, real Techniques. Got it. The Real Techniques sponge. But I found a really great sponge. It's a dollar. Like, I'm, I'm never gonna stop saying that. <laughs> oh, this packaging is so cute. But the shades, I don't know if I would use them. This is from BH Cosmetics, and this is the Romantic Nomad palette. I just love the front. Like, I want to print out, like, the front of the palette and, like, hang it up somewhere. That is gorgeous. But it looks like it's a mostly shimmer palette. Yeah, it's neutral. It's got, like, a green. It's got, like, a pink yeah i don't know i just i love that cover that is so pretty so sigma is coming out with a new palette called the core de rosa and honestly it looks really pretty it's just really warm though i'm getting very you know natasha Denona sunset vibes from it it's actually pretty cute i've never tried i don't think any sigma makeup yeah i don't think i've ever tried any makeup from sigma i mean this looks like a really pretty palette though but do i have the shades yeah i do do i need this no, but it's pretty. Oh, okay. Let me rant about this for a little bit. So 
this is probably old news by now, but Pure is coming out with a second Trolls collection. Now, I just, I want to know, who the hell is this being marketed to? Because you would think if they're trying to market to like tweens and kids, it would be from a more affordable brand. These palettes are $18 each, which is kind of pricey, right? A bit more on the higher end. And that's each for these qu quints. One, two, three, four, five, six, nope, six shades, palettes. So who's, who's getting these? Is it parents buying it for kids? Is it kids saving up their money and going? I don't think a single tween or teen I know could tell me what Pure is as a brand, right? I have, I'm just confusion, so much confusion. Though I gotta say that like black and red and silver palette, it's kind of banging. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want it, but I'm not going to get it. And also, I'm just confused as to this marketing. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave it at that. I think we caught up with a lot of things. So if there's anything I missed that you want my opinion on, let me know down below. Um, as for the my channel, I did pre-film a lot because I originally was actually going to be like out of town for this entire week. So I pre-filmed quite a bit. The next like three or four videos let's see one two three videos i do i pre-filmed so i'll get those edited this week i am home <laughs> quarantined uh because new jersey has some pretty strict guidelines now to deal with this um pandemic and a uh, part of that is like a, a curfew and like it, it's it's a bit crazy but it's good because we're looking out for everyone and we're trying to get through this as best as we can that being said i'm gonna be home and not doing much so i will get that editing done uh and hopefully things will continue and if outside of that if there's any other videos you want to see if you want to do another live stream let me know down below i'll be here thank you guys for watching and i cannot wait to see you in my next video bye i hope my hairline wasn't too distracting <laughs> my reg my regular hair is looking a lot more worse than this. A lot more worse, Jesus. It's time for dinner in bed.